Hey, what's going on YouTube? Um, okay, so this is the first video of my channel, so I'm going to present myself a little bit. Um, okay, so I'm Spanish, if you... As you, as, as you may not notice by um, my accent, of course, Spanish accent, not Mexican, okay, I'm uh, from Europe. <laughs> um, okay, so I made a, I tried to make a replica of the uh, Falcon 9 um, uh, rocket from SpaceX for the demo mission one, which is coming up in March the 2nd, I guess. Um, yeah, so for the first stage I used, uh, instead of the 9, people use uh, Raptor engines, I've seen in uh, some videos, I used uh, 9 LV T35, I guess they're called, I don't know, I, I might be wrong. Uh, so yeah, those uh, are very small and they are very efficient uh, on atmosphere, I guess, I think. Um, Okay, so now, for the first stage, I actually didn't have enough Delta V, as you are going to see, to land back. But, uh, almost. I just needed 40 meters per second more, approximately, I think. Yes, you're going to see now. So I fire up the engines and... Oh! Run out of fuel. <laughs> so yeah, that needs some... Uh, I need to perfect the landing. Maybe... Uh, decouple the first stage uh, a little bit earlier <clears throat> because now the second stage has only uh, half of the, of the uh, fuel tank because otherwise it will be uh, too heavy to be able to recover the first stage so uh, I will need to uh, spend more fuel uh, on the first stage and I wouldn't be able to recover it as uh, easier as I do in, uh, in this case, I think. Okay, so we are just now aligning the orbits. I What I always do is align the orbits and then raise the apoapsis um, a little bit, so um, the two spacecraft travel at different speeds. <laughs> now this time we are actually in control with the International Space Station, which is a craft file I downloaded from uh, I don't know, so from a uh, forum on the... Uh, I don't know. <coughs> I will put it in the description below, so you can also have it. But uh, it slows down the frame rate of the game. I have to uh, tell you that, because... Yeah. You are actually seeing the... Like, the, the footage at 500% uh, 500, uh, of speed, I think. <laughs> But this was like playing at uh, 15, 15 FPS once I get uh, close to the space station, since it has a lot of parts. Okay, so as you may notice already, uh, the Dragon capsule is actually doesn't work the same way as the real one. Um, I added some RCS, so it was uh, so it is it is easier to uh, maneuver it. Uh, I didn't know. Uh, how the real uh, crew dragon capsule is supposed to maneuver so yeah i just added some uh, rcs and you know the front the back and the sides okay so we are just now docking and actually the, the all the capsules that arrive at the international space station uh, dock with the uh, with the help of a uh, moving arm that they have there, the, the Canadian arm, but the Dragon capsule, uh, the new one from SpaceX, is supposed to be uh, docking itself without uh, any help. So yeah, <laughs> it's more the Kerbal way, because here we don't have uh, robotic arms, unless you have mods, of course, but this is 100% uh, stock. Uh, Okay, so now we just uh, stay in there. They're supposed to be doing some tests on the on the capsule. Okay, and now we departure. So, for the solid rocket boosters that the um, Dragon capsule uh, was supposed to have to land, um, since I I think they look pretty cool and they are not using them anymore to, for landing, um, I guess they will be. Uh, <laughs> 
a better fit to the orbit the capsule since it doesn't have any engines i guess uh, that was the only way to do it so yeah okay so that's it for today i hope you enjoyed the video uh, leave a like and yeah i'll see you next week bye